Question two is reading some frequency polygons. Part A is already done for us, so it was to find out how many 16 year old students took part in the survey. So I looked at my frequency polygon, did all the points, wrote them down, added them up to give me 230. Part B, how many more 16 year old students than 18 year old students spent between 15 and 25 minutes? So for the 16 year olds, at 15 minutes there were 50 and at 25 minutes there were 50. So for the 16 year olds, there were 100. Okay. For the 18 year olds down here, we've got 20 and we've got 40. So for the 18 year olds, our total is 60. So the difference between them is 40. Part C, um, so Wesley says the 16 year old students generally spend about the same time using social media as the 18 year old students. How would you explain that this statement is not true using the frequency polygons? So we're basically going to try and describe what is happening um, saying that they don't spend the same amount of time. You can see from here this top end of the graph between 30 and 60 minutes clearly the 18 year old students spend more time because their graph is up here okay so you need to write something along the lines of there are lots of different answers on the mark scheme um but um looking at the frequency polygon 18 year old students spend more time on social media because the graph shows higher frequencies you could use figures, so you could say that at 30 there were 60 students, at 40 there were 70, and then you could do the same here. You could do it that way. It's only worth one mark, so just describing that the graph shows more here than there is absolutely fine.